At IFA 2008, the leading brands of the consumer electronics and electrical home appliances industries are presenting themselves together and in total. It's all about cool things happening at the Messe Berlin exhibition site here in Berlin, Germany. We're thrilled to have as our first guest on this week's show to help us set the stage, tell us a little bit more about what happens here at IFA, the president and CEO of Messe Berlin, Mr. Raymond Hosch. Mr. Hosch, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you doing? Yeah, thank you very much. I'm doing quite well. Yes, you should be, because uh, even since we last spoke here at this very show last year, it was already a popular pro uh, popular show, a trade show, but now it's not only got many more exhibitors, but a whole new category of various products that is creating a lot of excitement. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we have included all the home appliance industry in our show, and you have seen on our fairground we need tents. Yes. More and more space. <laughs> You've we used up all, what do you have, 28 halls, and that's not enough. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough. So we, uh, we talk with our shareholders. I think we will be sure that in a few years we have, we'll have a new hall with uh, another 40,000 square meters exhibition space. So uh, I think that would be enough. You're going to have to start bringing us in by helicopter because there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's so many people coming at one time to one place. It's truly yeah. amazing. And so many more countries represented here again this year. Uh, I think you almost doubled the amount of countries that are bringing product to show uh, not only to dealers and press and analysts, but consumers because your show is open to consumers. Yeah, that's absolutely right because all those products and the decision makers who will buy these products are the consumers. We were talking before we went on the <laughs> air about the importance of adding white goods or appliances, especially yeah. kitchen appliances and laundry room mm -hmm. appliances and so forth. And you were talking about you've been working on this for, what, oh, five oh, or yeah. six or seven years? Five or six years. Yeah. And I have to convince them to come here mm -hmm. because all their dealers are here because the, the problem was, uh, well, who is the decision maker in my kitchen at home? It's not you. Huh? the fridge, it's not me, it's <laughs> my wife. <laughs> so, and then I told them, well, <coughs> you have to make an engagement and a contract with the California Dream Boys to present <laughs> all those products, and then they, uh, the decision will be much easier. <laughs> yes, it will be. And that's when things really started to happen, not only yeah. planting that seed, as you did with a lot of these manufacturers of, of refrigerators and washers and dryers mm -hmm. and toasters and coffee makers. Coffee makers. Very important. I, I learned, uh, especially here in Europe, that's the number one item in the kitchen is the coffee maker. Yeah, right now I think it's the number one. Uh, always the number one has been the refrigerator, the mm -hmm. fridge in your household, but it's, it's more and more stylish to have a very well, coffee maker. Not yeah. only making coffee, but a cappuccino, an espresso, and something like that. And we're finding things here at IFA that are costing 17, 1800 euro, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is uh, 2,500 US dollars. Can you imagine a coffee maker? But <laughs> it push a button and it does everything. Yeah, that's <laughs> It'll right. It'll make all these different coffees. That's right. Yeah. And one of the things that you were, of course, early on convincing these companies, a lot of the companies also make consumer electronics, other divisions. Why not show everything together? It's all about consumer lifestyle, it seems, right? That's right. And the, I think it's the digital world which brings us more and more uh, together. And as you know, um, when you're in the kitchen and you will have a modern kitchen, then you will have your, your flat TV screen directly on the refrigerator. You can see your recipes over there, and yeah. uh, you will maybe watch the morning the news <laughs> while you're having <laughs> yeah, coffee, right? Cooking, and that's what's getting in our well. A new lifestyle has been created, though, with that. True, and it is appropriate, I guess, for the, especially the same companies to show their whole house and all the solutions, if you will, all the products available. Right. And there's a lot of technology in home appliances. We've only recently started covering them uh, here on Into Tomorrow in the past couple of years. We didn't used to talk about washers and dryers. Well, now it's all about computer-controlled washers yeah. and dryers yeah. and, and things that can send you an email to let you know your clothes are done. And I mean, there's a <laughs> lot of technology in a lot of these appliances now. Uh, indeed, and uh, it's becoming a more important role because of the energy and energy prices and yeah. the environmental uh, restrictions. So, um, well, they invite us to buy new products with uh, wasting low, low energy. And that's, for instance, if you see the washers and the, the fridge, and it's, it's getting more interesting in 
all your homes For because sure. you spend thousands of dollars a year if you got a new equipment. Well, you have to spend more than 10,000 <laughs> to get yes. this equipment <laughs> in your home. <laughs> yes. But then mayb maybe uh, you can calculate within the next uh, five or eight years to get this uh, money back. Now let's talk about on the consumer electronics side, since IFA is still primarily Consumer Electronics Unlimited. Do you have the 108-inch uh, LCD screen in your living room yet? No, I just uh, have talked to my boys uh, yesterday, though we have to pull out of the furniture just of our <laughs> living room. And yeah. we, we only need two things. Yeah. The first thing is the, the largest uh, TV flat screen in the room. Yeah. And on the right side, a uh, refrigerator with all those sweeties and candies. Of course. <laughs> and, of course, all the good German beer. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it's, it's the only uh, broadcast that we do from around the world where our broadcast booth is stocked with German beer, in addition to water and soda and so forth. But mm -hmm. thanks to Messe Berlin for taking care of our guests. And I'm surprised how many people at all hours of the day say, oh, I'll have a beer. It's German beer, sure. And, and it's, a, it's a good thing. So you have to stock the fridge next to the big screen with yeah. the beer as well. And, of course, Messe Berlin producing shows all year long of various types. You've got a, a huge railway show. You, you do yeah. a travel show. I mean, many, many things in addition to IFA. This is just one, certainly one of the biggest, I'm sure, of your annual shows. Yeah, we're very happy that we're very successful and have been very successful within the last five years with an increase of about 60% within the last uh, five years. And that's very interesting. As you know, the, uh, the growth in Europe is not so big uh, in the average industry. But we are very efficient. We are just in Berlin, right in the middle of the European Union. In Berlin, you can make a lot of deals, international deals, deals between West and East, uh, especially the new well, Eastern European countries yeah. coming over here. And especially as we learn, Berlin is kind of the capital of Europe. I don't know if all the other countries appreciate that, but we do when we're here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's not only the beer capital. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Messe-Berlin.de is a website for Mr. Hosh's team, uh, everything that they do. And, of course, IFA-Berlin.com, specifically for this broadcast. We'll link you to both of them when you visit Graveline.com or IntoTomorrow.com. Raymond Hosh, thank you for not only inviting us back again this year, but thank you for helping us kick off this week's broadcast. Thanks a lot, Dave. Now we'll make way for many of his exhibitors to chat with and see some very cool things going on here at IFA this year. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. This, the Advanced Media Network. <laughs>